not even. Not even true. I'm not even okayist. I'm be I'm below that. A little bit below that. Is there a less than okayist? How are you doing? My name is Landon. This is Lando 27 Music, and this is a follow-up video to uh, some previous videos that I did in the past couple of years. Sort of an update video on this room. This is my home studio. This is my YouTube recording area. This is my jam room, and this is basically about soundproofing. And the term soundproofing apparently is not the right term. It's really hard to soundproof something, but sound reduction, right? But people are going to search up soundproofing. So that's what I'm going to say it is because that's what people want to know about. So what is this place? We will go through some old photos. Going back 10 years, moved into this house, had a basement rental project. So in tw uh, 2009, I had a dream. No, it wasn't a dream. It was just a drawing on a piece of paper. Basically, I did a basement renovation. I left a chunk of the basement, a small chunk. This is eight by 12. I left it as, uh, with plans to be a guitar room. I didn't really know exactly what I was doing at the time. Took a couple of years to research soundproofing, sound reduction, sound stuff, right? Sound materials, sound reduction materials, stuff like that. Got all the materials, built the room, and you'll see in the pictures kind of stuff I used. What did I use in here? Well, let's go over it again. I've talked about this in other videos, but I thought it was time for an update. A couple things have changed, but overall it's the same design. Not really too much has changed. Basically, picture a room with another room around it and an air gap. A six inch air gap, so it's a room inside a room. Um, the walls are constructed with normal, uh, we call it sheet rock or uh, gyp rock, whatever you want to call it. It's drywall, right? Whatever brand name you go by. Two layers of drywall. In between the drywall is this liquid called green glue that's supposed to take sound waves and turn it into heat. Is that true? Is it a myth? Is it an urban legend? Is it actually doing it? I don't know. I can't really prove that it is or not. I don't have a way to determine that. I don't have the scientific mechanisms to show that it's working or not. But what I can show you, and I will show you at the end of this video, is the sound reduction and what we get when I close this room up and how it sounds outside of the room. And that was the whole point. That's why I started this room. I wanted to be able to come into a spot in my house, play guitar and have fun. That's not what I meant. Play guitar and not bug everybody else in the house. Because I'm sure you're not unfamiliar with people saying turn down that amp when you don't even really have it up loud and it's just you know it's uh uh so anyways i succeeded spoiler it, it worked it, it's good let's talk about again i got cut off there for a second by myself that makes no sense okay back we had drywall um next layer is this stuff called ruxel safe and sound it's uh it's insulation it's just not your standard pink insulation this one's designed for sound reduction and it's made from lava rock or something like that. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not fiberglass. That's the difference. Uh, so there's a layer of that. Then you got your air gap. Then you've got the second wall, which has more Roxel safe and sound. So two layers of Roxel. Two. Uh, then an outside layer of drywall. No green glue on the outside wall. Just on the inside, and that includes a ceiling. Any piping, any ventilation, anything like that was wrapped with this kind of foam metallic insulation to uh, stop vibrations from getting out of the room. Um, so there's no air return system in this room. It does get hot in here in the summer. That's the one drawback. I live in a cold climate most of the year. It's not too hot. So in the summer, it's not great. In the winter, it's awesome. It's like a little heated room. I have a tube amp, I turn it on, it heats up the room. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, the ceiling is using something called whisper clips and furring channel. And basically the idea with that is the, uh, the channel is this metal sheet that hangs from these little clips and it's suspended from the joists. Say that, joists. Suspended from that so you don't have direct contact with your joists in the floor above, right? And double layer of drywall, green glue again. That was quite a bit of work to do. But I did this room, did it all by myself, did the uh, drywall. I'm not bragging about skills or anything like that. I just, I'm saying I did it. An 8x12 room, it's not impossible for somebody with, I don't have the best dry uh, mudding skills. That's when you do the uh, the mud on the drywall. 
but I managed to do it and it worked out great. Um, and then through the years, I've been doing this now. Let's see here. I started YouTube in 2016. I don't recall if I got my acoustic panels before that. The acoustic panels are what you see on the wall. And we'll do a walk around in a minute, but it's these foam panels on the wall. The idea with that is basically to stop sound from bouncing off on the walls. I get a lot of comments on older videos. People are asking, can I put those panels up in my apartment? Will it help with sound reduction? And I always say no, that don't get the two confused. There's acoustic treatment, which is that, sound reduction, sound proofing, which is what I've done in the, the walls and the ceiling. And the last part that I'll mention before we walk around and take a look, the doors that I use are solid core doors. There's two of them. They are insulated around the edges. There's weather stripping and um, basically like an exterior door on your house to keep cold air or warm air out, right? And it does, it works uh, the same way with keeping sound in and sound from going out. So we'll demo that after. In this video, I'm going to demo. I've got my sound meter here. I'm going to turn on that Marshall DSL 20HR to 20 watt mode, crank it. Uh, I'll loop some guitar into a looper pedal. We're going to see what kind of reduction I did. And like I said, I've done a couple other videos on this before. Um, I thought I'd just do an update. Some people are new to the channel. Some people aren't aware that this room, uh, what it is exactly. So what this room lets me do is play guitar late at night. It lets me make videos basically any time. If you're not in this kind of situation, and most people won't be, to be honest. This is, I'm pretty lucky to have this. Uh, I don't have to use something like a two notes torpedo or a... Uh, a load reactor or something to bring the sound down. I don't have to go direct in. I can get real amp sounds by miking the room. So I think I'm really lucky in that in that respect. And I've uh, been overall super happy with the room. Anything I've changed since the last video is probably just adding more panels. Got some couple bass traps. Um, the floor isn't anything special. I'm in a basement, so it's concrete floor. I've got a layer of some kind of insulation uh, foam on top and then um, it's laminate flooring, so nothing really special on the floor. Uh, the last thing I'll mention before we do walk around is the edges of all the drywall have been sealed with acoustic sealant, and that's key for keeping uh, sounds from leaking out the cracks. It's very easy to do. So why don't we take a little walk around the room? Things I've already mentioned, we'll just see them up close, and then we'll get into a sound demo, or lack of sound demo. Unfortunately, I don't have the widest angle on this camera, but so let's take a look over here. So all the panels, they're everywhere. I could cover more, but they're not cheap. They're not, you know, it's something that they can cost a little bit. Uh, we've got the corner panels there, the base traps, a couple little ones, and then a lot of stuff on the ceiling. So what I was talking about, and this should show up pretty well. All right, this is the room inside a room. You can see the gap here. I think it did four inches. Maybe it's five. I can't remember the measurement. It was 10 years. No. It's about eight years ago now. See the insulation, nothing special really. Can't show you the green glue. Here's this, one of the solid core doors and the second one on the out here. And then the weather stripping all the way around. It's all flush, so it closes. And when it closes, it's tight. Turns into a little sauna in the summertime. That's basically it. Like I mentioned, Marshall 20 watt tube amp. It's a DSL 20 HR. I'm going to load up some guitar into a pedal, just some random, loud, crazy riff with this Epiphone Les Paul, and then we will check out the difference between being in the room and out of the room, and I'll have, the, uh, I'll have this in front so we can look at it. All right. <laughs>
So I'm not really sure how exactly that's picking up on the uh, on the camera. Like I can hear it through the wall, but it's definitely once you're out of this out of this area, you don't hear it upstairs or anything like that. So pretty cool. Yeah. So I just want to show that off. So there you go. If you weren't already aware of what this room was, it, it just looks like a regular room with a lot of gear and stuff like that. Now you know, or maybe you already knew, but anyways. So if you have any questions about this room, I love to share information about how I designed it and the stuff I picked. Um, I'll have links in the description. I'll also have links to the older videos from a couple years ago, so you can check those out as well. I did more thorough testing. I did some acoustic guitar stuff. This right here, this test that I did with the Marshall, that was my whole point of making this room, basically. It now doubles as a YouTube, um, I guess a YouTube studio, if you want to call it that. It's, uh, it wasn't designed for that, but it's awesome to have it, so it's pretty cool. Uh, all right, that's going to wrap this up. I'm Landon. Thanks for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button. Give me some feedback below too. Again, if you have any questions, any comments about the room, anything you want to know about, I'm open book. I'll let you know exactly. If I can remember the cost, remember this is almost 10 years ago, I'll let you know what it was. And let me know actually if anybody out there has done this kind of thing recently. I'd be curious what kind of uh, tools that exist now. Tools and equipment and materials because I'm sure stuff has changed, technology has changed obviously in the last 10 years. So as always, play guitar and have fun and I'll see you in another video. Bye.